Hello and welcome. Here we are again, back in uh, Minecraft. As you can see, I moved the setup over here, made another heater, and got it set up so there's two of those. I made a mine shaft and I found diamonds, but I don't want to do anything with them just yet. And the reason in being is that I want to get as much as I can out of it. So I'm going to take a stack of sand, a stack of gravel, and 16 blocks of clay. I'm going to make two stacks of grout, which you're going to need to cook up. Now, while we wait for that, what we can do is a mod has went into open beta, basically. And it is our greatest friend, if you haven't seen it on the side of my screen there yet. Thermal expansion is back. Ignore some of these things that happens. But uh, thermal expansion is back, and its stuff is out. And uh, they've changed the redstone flux system, which Engineer's Toolbox also, also, also works off of now. And they've also got item ducts. Uh, they've got opaque versions, so you don't need hardened glass. You can actually access these fairly easily. And I don't need to know if items are actually going through. Uh, another thing I need is to make the wrench. Actually, it's called a crescent hammer I believe in this case what am I filtering for that I have so much random stuff in here that is the question crescent hammer takes a piece of silver and three pieces of iron should work with uh... oh good it does use the uh, or dictionary in order to set itself up now I'm pretty sure there's a vacuum mode Oop. Could be wrong. I don't know what I did. Ah, does that work? Oops. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how the item ducks work. I'm not going to lie. Oh well. Because there's multiple of them, sort of. Because I... See what I mean? I don't know what some of these things do. I see. I'm not entirely sure what that is from, but okay. But uh, probably not going to mess too much with those. I more want to get... That's going to become a problem quickly. I more want to get Tinker's Construct up and running, oh. and I managed to get plenty of potatoes. I got one potato, used the grinder to grind up my bone meal, and I've made an entire farm, so I'm using that as a source of fuel as opposed to rotten flesh. Well, let's just go to sleep here. Oh. Oh. And I put a lever on the calciometric burner so that way it doesn't run all the time. And I forgot to turn it back on. Uh, I added a second battery partly because it lets me eliminate wires and partly because it helps store power, of course. And we need the seared brick for the purpose of Tinker's Construct. One of the first things I'm going to want is a casting table, a uh, smeltery controller. Ooh, smelting. Now, aluminum brass is used for, you know, making the patterns and stuff. You can do it with gold as well, but I don't really need uh, copper quite that much. Although, I am going to want to increase my output. You know, it's for the sole purpose of why not go for as much as I possibly can. But technically, I don't need to grind this up, and I know this. Oh. Well, it's too late for this one. This one must be finished. Can I still use this in the... Uh smeltery? Oh, I can. Glorious. 
Okay, so for that, it's I believe three to one. So three ores, or four ores, because I need 12 of these. Should get me a pretty far distance in terms of those. I'll come over here. I definitely want this, this, and this. And the simplest way I know of is to... Ah, this is the tool station, not the part builder. You can just make it out of stone or whatever. But I won't combine the pick. Whoops. Uh, take that. No, not that. That. Okay. Then we'll just put these back over here. The only thing I really care about at this exact moment is the pick. For a very good reason. Okay. Now I'm going to need to get lava, but I know there's some immediately accessible over in the swamp we found. Where am I going to place this? I could place it in my newly created basement. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Uh, I did realize I was retarded, and you can't actually make micro blocks out of the things. Things, because I'm helpful. But, what am I doing? The inside needs to be 3x3. Three three. It can be bigger, but in my case, it's not going to be. And this doesn't need to be here because you don't need corners. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how many I need. Probably going to go for the smallest I can go for. There's copper down there, but I just covered it up. Which. The smallest I could go for would be right here. Uh, so I guess I'll do this. So I'm going to need access to that. I probably should have raised it up, but I didn't. I have no idea what mod adds this. That's... Yes. Smeltery drain. And I'm going to need, I really need to invest in some stairs of some kind. Speaking of which, I was going to make a saw. Which requires some of this, some of that. Grab some more of this just in case. And I think one piece of iron? Not you. Stone tool rods. Like that. Sticks like that. And iron ingot. And we get an iron saw. So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut apart some of this, this great wood, if it will let me. Really? That's disappointing. Apparently I cannot cut great wood with that saw. So that was a waste of a piece of iron. Kind of disappointing. Uh, need more grout. And I should have some glass. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to make this. Oh! I'm impressed I got that on the first try. And smeltery controller. And it's lit up, which means it's working. Hooray! So, next thing I need to do grab some more buckets because I have them I found quite a few mine shafts oh I found another mine shaft over there when I was digging and I followed through that and I found more dungeons or found dungeons in general so I ended up with quite a bit of nifty pieces of loot three safari nets a builder's wand uh, technicolor glasses which is not entirely what they're used for I have two name tags two records Pretty sure. Got a logic matrix programmer and a division signal, which the division signal is very far away. Nine soul lessons already. Uh, and, oops. Well, these take seven game days to grow on grass, but they'll produce 
an ender pearl once they finished growing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, it's going to get lava. So, and I got a lot of just, there's a lot of shit just sitting down there that I didn't do anything with. Mostly because I didn't really care. But, uh, th this entire episode has a purpose, I swear. And that purpose is to make things easier to acquire, namely diamonds. Okay, four buckets of lava, hopefully deal, it be useful. I'm not going to put all of them in at once, because I know there's a bug where it will continuously consume lava, but I don't know if it's been fixed in the build that I'm using. I'm not even sure if I've updated recently. So, I'm just going to be very sparing with putting lava into it. But the important thing here, I'm going to want an ingot. Let's grab the tin ingot, because I can. I have aluminum sitting right there. But I uh, got some steel, got the pretty much worthless sapphire. I don't know why I even kept it, considering it's pretty much worthless. But go down here, throw this in here. Oh yeah, it can only burn so much at a time because it's the smallest size. Okay. Well, at least I can fit the rest of it in the next set of burning. So, things I will do. That will go there, so whenever I pour out the pattern, it will form around it, and then we'll end up with that pattern, and then we'll have to pour materials into it, which will be a slight pain, but what are you going to do? Hmm. I would have thought that the powder would have melted faster than everything else, but that seems to not be the case. Whatever. So, I'm probably going to want something. What am I wanting? I need, if I want to make the entire thing out of iron, which is probably going to be a waste, what are you going to do? Then I'm going to want two iron to do this. Make my aluminum brass. Go faster. Okay, 16 aluminum brass. Very good. Now, pour that out, pour that out, why do stone tool rods get made that easily, oh well, and pour that out. Now we have the three most important things, uh, however, wish to make an ingot pattern because I don't want to make the stone table and because I'm going to want the ingot pattern anyhow. How many ingots are left in here? Twelve. I may have made way more than I needed. And unfortunately this isn't really, eh, I suppose it's okay in a couple of things, but it's not terribly useful on its own. You know, I should use my ore instead of my processed bars. Because my processed bars are very far and few between at the moment. So let's still use one piece of ore. Why? Because I'm hoping it takes less lava. I could probably start melting it now but I don't know what will necessarily happen. I've had strange interactions between multiple liquids in here at once. And then there's the fact that you never know which one you're gonna get out whenever there's two of them in there. And gone? 
No? One more? Okay. Very good. I don't particularly care about the quality of the pick, because the only thing I want to mine with it is going to be diamonds, which means the best it needs to be is iron. I'll probably resolve this later. But as it currently stands, this is not an issue. Also, I have resolved, at least I think so, a majority of my frame rate issues by forcing DX Story to CPU processing because the CPU I have has. Minecraft doesn't take full advantage of it because it's Minecraft. It doesn't really handle multi core terribly well and it's not going to handle 8 core well at all. Which means that most of my CPU is being wasted, and so I've decided to make use of it. Uh, how much is in there? 550. Hopefully it doesn't go away. Hopefully it stays just fine. I'm going to throw the lava in here. Might as well throw the rest of these things in here as well. Not you. Pretty sure I can put these... Yeah. Not terribly useful, I know. Uh, okay. You stupid sapphire. Just go sit in the chest forever to be ignored. You should make a pick. Pickaxe reinforced. Now, I'm going to take nine moss. You know what? Screw it. Let's take 18. Make it require repair quicker. Making moss balls and applying it makes it repair. Now I have one modifier remaining. And that one modifier, I'm going to use every single bit of my lapis. Even though technically that's probably a complete waste. Because I only need it to actually say Fortune 1 because that's how it scales. Like, it doesn't say Fortune 1 yet. How much lapis it actually takes to get there? Hmm. Assuming it works in numbers, I might not even have enough to get it. Which could be a problem. I don't, honestly, I can't be sure it's even actually going to say that. I may have updated, and the fact that it even said fortune may have been unintentional. Worst case scenario, I have an infinite iron pickaxe now. Uh, throw these in here for a moment. Now, I actually found quite a few diamond veins. I didn't mine a single one of them, because I was saving them for this exact purpose. But... I also don't know if thermal expansion does retrogen, so I may end up running into ferrous metal veins on the way down through here. But uh, as you can see, it just kind of goes down. It's actually pretty well hidden by the desert as well. And it's probably the last thing we do in this video, because I'm right, we should be pretty close to the 30 minute mark. I'm hoping that this technically has fortune on it already. I'm hoping. And if you're wondering why I'm at bedrock level, it's because you can only find according to the... Uh, I was looking through, and I was like, oh, interesting, dark iron ore is found near bedrock, only for wrath lamps. So, I came down to bedrock, and I only found 12 pieces of dark iron ore. So I don't think I have enough. Unfortunately, I think I need more lapis to actually get fortune out of this. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But we got nine, which is all I care about right at this exact moment. I'll worry about the rest of it later. <laughs> It's just, I need nine diamonds in order to get this whole process going. Which, 
involves me making a machine and exploding something. Mostly. Although, I'm probably not quite ready for that yet. I don't really have the resources and stuff prepared, and as such, probably not going to get to it. Unless it's not too terribly hard to make, which I'm pretty sure it is. No, not terribly hard, but it could be a pain. We're going to need some sand. That should be enough. Probably wondering what I'm doing right about now. And that is, in order to make the lacerator, other than the motor, which is going to be a slight pain, but not terribly hard, we need this, but we need diamond shards. And how do you get diamond shards? The careful use of, not you, five pieces of gunpowder. What am I doing? Do you not know how to make TNT, you fool? Ta-da! Uh, let's see. Let's make a lever. Put these buckets of lava in here so they're not in my inventory. And with that and that. No, give me that back. So. Just want to make a diamond block. We're going to go out here. Can find somewhere safe, such as here should be safe enough. And I don't want it on the ground because I don't want to screw up my ground. But that said, T on TNT on top, lever, and go. Done. Done! Diamond shards! That are now everywhere. Okay, so. That's all 19 that you get from it. 19? 18. I, don't know how I got 19 out of that. So. Oh, uh, I've got enough time. I should be able to make it. All I gotta do is grab one of these batteries. Seven of these. Oh. Speaking of the socket, it's not that hard to make. I made it, and then I was like, crap, I don't need to make it. You need that for the lacerator. And I made some barrels, because everybody loves barrels. I'm pretty sure. I could have swore I made a few. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a barrel. I also need a piece of iron that. That. Yeah, I don't know. Throw it, grab some more of those, grab some of those, because I don't know, some of those, because I don't know. Battery, iron, lead wire. It's the last use of the battery at the moment. Place that there. Oh, this has been running this whole time and wasting my potatoes. Oh, well. well they're just potatoes. As you can see, I've got a decent amount of potatoes in here. So. I need the motor, which is, what am I missing? I'm missing iron. Right? Iron? Iron. And I need another piece of iron. See, that would have been a bad situation if I would have used my processed iron. Bam! Lacerator socket part. I need you, you, or you. Uh, probably do need you. Most likely. Well, I can work without it. Uh, I need a chest. Uh, there. I will place the chest right about here. Place the barrel right here. Place the socket against this. The lacerator here. Oh good, I do have the fixed version. Uh, there was an issue where the lacerator would still spin when the... What's the words I'm looking for? When there was nothing in the barrel. 
and it would sit there and just waste energy and it was bad so I want to wrap up here but uh, just gotta get it oh that's eh, not what I'm doing that's not the barrel put that there and you see it starts spinning I'm not sure how much this is going to take so throw that in there so I can get a good gauge the grinder takes more to run than the other stuff, but I'm hoping once this speeds up, it should be able to keep up with it just fine. Another thing I definitely want to make is the mixer, but I'm going to need to get the iron process to do that. And I'm probably going to want to make a turtle. Nothing for the purpose of mining. But uh, as you can see, for every iron ore it eats, it outputs eight dirty iron gravel. Uh, I don't have access to my infinite water source, which could be a problem. Right, I hope. And basically, you can do one at a time with the bucket, or you can do eight at a time with the bucket. So you can do that, and this. The mixer does shapeless recipes, so it'll handle this, but it consumes the bucket of water, and I got sludge in the case, which we used to make clay, which is very useful. Now you take this, and you throw it in here. So we've already doubled it. The output we've gotten is already doubled on this case. Now, you have a chance to get extra when doing this. But it doesn't look like I'm really getting extra. And supposedly, this is, you're supposed to have a guaranteed 300% when doing a certain step. But I don't see it. But me slightly higher than 200% is still enough especially in certain cases such as lead and silver so I had 8 and now I have 10 and now I smelt this and I have bars the next problem is just going to be with dealing with getting that out of there and dealing with other things. I'm going to be using all of these ender pearls on item pipes, but that's for next time. In the meantime, I should be able to handle this without a major problem. That's no, true. We made the iron. Let's make the mixer. Because why not? Fan. Uh, we're gonna need this because we need another motor, which means we also need eight of this, two, we're also gonna need a battery, and, oops, wire, like so, again, I am not being terribly useful, am I? Useful? I mean to... I mean to stop, but uh, I'm not. Because I'm trying to get this done, so that way I can complete this step for the next one. Although, I think I need more. Just more, in general. I need two buckets of water and a cauldron. Seriously? Okay, fine. Should be... As soon as it catches up, whatever. It didn't lose any, that's the important thing. Oh yeah. Okay, about... Here? Here? I screwed this up, didn't I? Huh. 
Well, that's going to be a problem if I don't resolve it. Uh, I think you get the idea. I'm going to try and come up with a better way to deal with this in the meantime. And yeah, I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.